Walt and Steve Kane here at All Vacuum Center. I got a quick do it yourself or for you SIBO owners. Hey, if you ever get your red light coming on saying bag full or clog, which I'm going to make happen here just by blocking off my airflow, just like the one on the right. there's a, a blockage. Something is wrong. Either the bag is completely full, so naturally the first thing you do is open it up, take a look at your bag, or change your bag. But if you still get that light coming on, real simple, all you need to do, and, and no tools required. Flip your SIBO over, and there's an orange trap door, and you can open this up. It's spring-loaded, and that is where we will pull out a lot of things. We'll pull out uh, Christmas tree ornament hooks, stir straws, pine needles. So there's where a blockage could possibly be. The other place that it might be, if you check that and it's clear and your bag's clear, is literally within your hose. You can pull this out. Obviously, you can look right through your pipe and see that there's nothing in there. But then you can actually pop your hose merely by squeezing and pulling, and your hose comes out. Now you can see if there's an obstruction in here, too. Hey, Steve back here. We just finished that SIBO video for a blockage or a clog, and the next customer in the door had just that issue. So we threw it on the bench real quick, and you can see what I was talking about at the trap door. I'm going to open this up, and you can see it looks like it's got a bunch of dead pine needles or something like that in there. This is, most of the time, where you're going to get a blockage. So you would just continue to pull this debris out of here, get your blockage out totally, and go on your way. Again, another quick do-it-yourselfer. Never touch a SIBO with a screwdriver. If you do, you're doing something you shouldn't be doing.